This video is how to show how to tape your dog's ears the proper way uh, for a Rottweiler. And what you do is you take tape like this. This is duct tape. The duct tape is um, the either the Gorilla or the heavy duty uh, silver or black. But you don't want to get the cheap silver duct tape. You need the really sticky stuff so it sticks to the dog's ears because if it's not sticky the dog will scratch it, pull it off um, with his claws or you know he's going to try anything to take this tape off. So this is the duct tape black Gorilla tape. What you're going to do is you're going to get about four inches and you're going to cut about a one inch piece off on this side and about about a two inch, two and a half inch maybe on this side and what you're going to do is you're going to fold this over. This side's going to stick to the inside of the ear and then it's going to wrap around the ear and I'm going to show you how to do that and then this will of course will overlap and then stick to itself. This is just so you don't have to stick the whole ear. It will give a little bit um, you know save some of the fur. So let me get a dog out and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, come here. Lay down. Okay. Let's see if we can see this. Let's see right here. Let's see this. There's, there's the dog. Let me zoom in on the dog here. Okay. So here we have the dog's ear. Here's the dog's ear. This is the ear you are going to fold inside out. So you can see the dog's ear is going to be inside out. Nice and even if you can. What you're going to do is you're going to take the tape, stick the tape on the inside of the ear. Make sure it's nice and even and you're going to wrap your dog's ear inside out around until it sticks to itself. Now the dog's ear is inside out. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the ear and kind of pop it out. Now the dog's ear is actually sitting properly. The crease is here in the front of the ear. That's what you're looking for, is the front crease. A lot of times what happens is, and, and this is going to cause it to f lay forward. What happens with dogs is, and I'm going to take this back off to show you. It comes right off. Is What happens is, is the dogs, when they're teething, they hold their ears back all the time and it hurts and it causes not the crease instead of being in the front it creases in the rear and it causes the dog's ear to fold backwards when it folds backwards the dog's ears fly out like this like an airplane because the crease is folding in the back of the ear so when you flip it forward and you create the front crease it will lay properly on the front of the dog's head the tighter the fold towards the head, the tighter the crease will be and will cause it to lay closer to the head. If you do it too far away, the dog's ear is going to come out and, and you'll have a gap there. So it's very important to get the ear very close. A lot of people, what they do is they actually take the dog's ears and they take them, tape them to their head like this. And it wraps around their head and they wrap it around their head and what that's really not a good way to do it because you're closing off all the air to get into their ear and that can cause um, ear infections and stuff like that some people take the tape and they just tape it flat and they tape the whole ear well when you pull it off so if you use duct tape it's going to pull quite a bit of their fur off so that is the least uh, the least way to you know use the less amount of tape on their ear and you're getting the same result and uh, and it works really well and I have some pictures taken so that's how we tape ears and uh, hopefully you'll 
be able to watch this video um, and you know like what you see thank you